What we have in front of us is regulators, 12 volt regulators. Uh, we've got the 1.5 amp rated and we've got a 5 amp rated uh, regulator. Now, um, why would you want to use one? First of all, fish finders. Um, fish finder will have a, some fish finders will have a minimum working voltage. Of course, the maximum is not too much to, uh, to worry about because ours is a, is a 12 volt battery, uh, but it's the minimum before the fish finder will cut off. So, for example, some fish finders need a minimum of 11 volts. And because batteries are not a constant voltage source, batteries during the discharge, uh, there'll be a voltage drop. There'll be a curve. Uh, if you put it on, on the graph, the, uh, the voltage will drop uh, gradually as it gets discharged. So when it hits 11 volts, your battery still got plenty of uh, punch in it. It's just that your, your, your fish finder is saying that, oh, minimum I need is 11 volts. It's, it's dipped below that. I'm turning off. Okay. So now to uh, overcome the problem is you need a regulator. What a regulator does is it gives a constant output of 12 volt. Uh, we set it at factory at 12 volt. Sometimes it could be 12.9, uh, sorry, 11.9, 12.1 or so, uh, which is not a problem at all. Just as long as it's above 11 volts, 11.9, uh, that there will be constant <coughs> throughout the, the the curve of the from from a full battery to a flat battery. Because our batteries can go down to about uh, nine point something volts um, when it's flat. Yeah, so well below the minimum working voltage of. Uh, most fish finders that they uh, require. So how do we connect these up? So, um, let's do it. Uh, let's do a demonstration and show you how to do it uh, without uh, doing it, uh, rigging up wrong. Now the five amp and the one point five amp is, in general, most fish finders this would suffice. Okay, um, check your specs. See what the uh, um, the maximum current uh, um, amps or milliamp rating is. So if it's a uh, 500 milliamp, it's 0 0.5 amp. If it's 400 milliamp, it's 0 0.4. If it's a thousand milliamps, it's one amp. Okay. So I would say I, I would say 90% of the fish finders out there would run this. If you've got a more of a heavier gear, um, then of course the five amp is available as well. Uh, let's just talk about uh, rigging it up. Let's use a small one for space now. A lot of people will go, let's plug it in here, like this. If you're using one fish finder, then this is the right way of doing it. From there, then of course you've got a, let's say we're using a fuse pigtail, uh, which is over here. So from there, coming in from the battery to the uh, 1.5 amp regulator, and of course this is regulated at constant 12 volt. And of course you plug your fuse to your fish finder. If you don't have a fuse, then you plug in your standard uh, pigtail that came with the battery and that goes to your fish finder okay and if people are using a double pigtail then uh, you need to make note that you do not plug this straight to the battery because a double pigtail is this this is a double pigtail all right one goes in here so basically this is just a double adapter double pigtail from the battery you've got two outputs now so one of the output is dedicated to your fish finder, of course. That goes here, and then from here, that's where you connect to your fish finder, whether through a fuse, uh, another fuse pigtail, or straight to a you know a a, 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 a a male pigtail. And of course, here is unregulated. This would be for your LED lights and whatnot that you want to run a spotlight, LED light, um, different 12 volt accessories. So, but this was always dedicated for the use of a fish finder only.